Hello folks, welcome back to the Tiny Fibre Studio. I'm Bex and this is a channel all about knitting and spinning and occasionally some other crafty stuff. In this video today I am going to reveal the top 10 most popular first spinning wheels in the world. If you'd like to play along at home, pause the video right now and write your guesses of the top three in the comments and let's see if you're right. This is an extra video that I didn't originally intend on making but I kind of fell down a little bit of a research rabbit hole and I thought it was only fair to drag you down there with me. While I was editing my choosing your first spinning wheel video I was really interested to uh, find out about other people's first wheels. So I polled my Instagram audience and although some of the results were absolutely what I would expect there were some results that I found pretty surprising. Like the fact that more people had had a Shacked Matchless as their first wheel than a Shacked Ladybug. The Matchless is almost £500 more expensive and they don't come up second hand that often. So I started to wonder how much the poll results were being skewed by the makeup of my audience. We tend to follow people that we can identify with so it's very likely that my audience contains more Shack Matchless owners than the general spinning population just because that's one of the wheels I own too. So I decided to run the same poll on more neutral territory which was the Spinners Study Facebook group that has 16,000 members. At the end I'll share the full results of that poll and compare the results from my Instagram poll as well. What I'll do is at the end of the video I will run a title with every single response that I had from both of the polls because honestly there were some in there that I had to go and look up. I had never heard of them before in my life and yet they were quite popular responses. <laughs> at number 10 we have my first wheel, the Ashford Joy, with 35 responses. Available in double or single treadle, it's scotch tension, it's got a good range of ratios, a built-in lazy cate, and it folds into a quite neatly transportable package. So it's a good option for people like me at that time who are a little bit limited on space. There's also a bulky flyer available if you're into the more chunky yarns. Number nine with 41 votes is the Kronsky Minstrel, a very traditional looking castle style wheel, which is capable of single or double drive with ratios from 6.5 to 16 to one, and an optional distaff and jumbo flyer if you wanted to extend its capabilities. Coming in at number eight with 44 responses is the Shack Matchless. Launched in 1987, the Matchless comes in single or double treadle, can be used in Scotch tension, Irish tension or double drive, and it comes with ratios from 9 to 15 to 1, but there are a wide range of additional whirls and a bulky flyer, so it'll adapt to pretty much anything. It's definitely an investment, but if you wanted to go all in on one wheel, this might be it. And just nudging ahead of its sibling at number seven with 49 votes is the Shack Ladybug. This more affordable wheel is double treadle only, but like the Matchless, it's compatible with all of the optional accessories like the extra whirls and the bulky flyer. At number six, it's the one I warned you about. 51 people said that they started with an antique wheel. You know my opinion on these. If you are buying directly from another spinner who spins on that wheel and can show you its quirks, then you might be okay. Um, but just be aware of buying from anyone who doesn't actually spin on the wheel because it might just be a decorative piece not actually meant for spinning. Number five is the Ashford Kiwi with 78 votes. This is one of the most affordable options from the big name makers. There are three versions of this wheel over the years and the Ashford Kiwi 3 has folding treadles for easier storage and travel, plus three ratios ranging from 5.5 to 9.5 to 1. And again, there is a bulky flyer available for lots of plying or for chunky yarns. In at number four, we have the Luet S10. 84 people voted for this one. There have been multiple versions of this wheel since its launch in 1974. The current one, the S10C, can be custom designed with a range of different treadle, drive wheel, flyer, and drive system configurations. So you can build the wheel you like, and you can even swap components later on if you wanted to. And getting into the top three with 109 votes is the Lendrum Original, a really popular choice in the Canadian and US markets in particular. 
They've been made in Canada since the mid-1970s, starting with a single treadle and then transitioning to double treadles as that became a bit more popular. The Lendrum is Scotch tension with ratios from 6 to 10 to 1, and there is an additional fast flyer and jumbo kit available if you wanted to be able to expand its capabilities. 155 people said their first wheel was the Ashford Traveller. Again, there have been multiple versions of this wheel, but the current one is double treadle and is available as a Scotch tension or a double drive version with ratios of 6 to 14 to 1. Again, there is a jumbo flyer available if you have a preference for the bulkier end of the spectrum. And drumroll please, as I'm sure you've probably guessed, the most popular first spinning wheel in the world, with a total of a massive 356 responses, is the Ashford Traditional. The Ashford Traddy has been a staple in the spinning community since its introduction in the mid-60s. There is a timeline of Traddies on Ashford's website, so you can go and have a look at all the changes, but the current model is single treadle with an option for scotch tension or for double drive. It's relatively fast with ratios from 7 to 17 to 1, although the earlier models just have one ratio. Because it's been around for so long and they are pretty solid wheels, there are a lot of these wheels in circulation on the second-hand market. And Ashford tried to ensure that there are still parts available to keep um, most of the earlier versions spinning, so it makes absolute sense that it's the number one most popular first wheel for new spinners to own. Of course, these results only tell part of the story because we don't know how many people still use that first wheel or whether they bought it, hated it and sold it on within a week. <laughs> so if we turn the numbers into percentages, let's look at the comparison between the figures from the spinner's study poll and my original Instagram poll because there was a bit of a difference. You can see that there's a more even spread with the Kiwi jumping into second place. The Joy moved into 6, the Lendrums down in 10th, and the Ladybug and Minstrel were outside of the top 10. So there you go, that is a quick rundown of the top 10 most popular first spinning wheels. Now you can go back and check your comment, were you right or not in your assumptions about what the top 3 would be? Um, I know that I was definitely really interested to look at these numbers and see how different they were compared to um, what I actually see in real life. Um, so when I go to guild meetings and things like that, I see probably a different range of wheels there than I was seeing in the poll. So it was super interesting. So I hope that that has been useful. I hope that if you're maybe in the market for your first wheel, that that's given you a few ideas. So yeah, I hope that was useful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.